A boy was suspended from his school in Ohio recently for making a girl feel uncomfortable during a staring contest. What made it bad was he wasn't staring at the cheeks on her face. Boo! Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry, sir. Did you not like that joke? or? Well, no, actually, I thought it was bad. Hi, Shane Keating, Pioneer Times Review Critic. Uh, oh. That was just bad. I, awful. Well, is, is there any reason for it? or? Uh, you're just not funny. Oh, uh, plain well, and simple. Well, I'm very sorry, sir. You know, we do this show to make our audience happy. So when we're not doing that. We're not really doing our jobs. So if anyone ever has any suggestions. Uh, Wait a minute, James. Yeah. What about a suggestion box? Hmm. Suggestion box. Suggestion box. Everybody has a suggestion box. That's a very good point, Eric. Thank you for that delayed uh, response. You're welcome. So here we have our suggestion box. So uh, let's see what we got here. This is just paper. All right. Oh, here's the first one. Um, your intro was too loud and energetic. Can you change that? Hmm, well, I, I wonder, can we change that? I guess we can. The mustache? I, I don't know. Yeah, I like it. I guess they add a mustache when things get yeah. you know, sad and stuff. All right, let's see what's next. Um, can Eric be less dumb? I, Eric, can you be less dumb? Or? Well, James, James, James. Look, there are probably more than 100 billion galaxies in the cosmos. Each of those galaxies has between 10 million and a trillion stars in it. Our sun, a rather small and feeble star, a yellow dwarf indeed, weighs around a billion, billion, billion tons, and most are much bigger. There is an awful lot of visible matter in the universe. So in conclusion, uh, 1 plus 1 equals 10. So no. No. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. no. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, your skyline set isn't an accurate depiction of a real New York City skyline. Why? Well, we can't, we can't actually have a full skyline. It's because it would be huge. It would just be one, one huge building. Yeah, we'd just it. behind. We would be behind one building. I don't know who suggested that, but that was a dumb suggestion. Let's see who's next. Idiot. <laughs> Your show doesn't really teach kids uh, good values. Can you change that? Hmm. Well, let's see. Uh, what can we do to change that? Hmm. Oh. Hey kids, uh, welcome to Late Night. I'm James Nuzo. Today we're going to learn about some jokes. So please welcome my friend, Man on the Street. Hello. Hey, Man on the Street. How, how are you? you, Jimmy? How are you? Good. Can you teach the children what a joke is? Well, I could for a price. A oh, price? Uh, yeah. well, how about you tell them like the basics of a joke? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Like a setup and punchline. You just did that for me. Steal my bit. Thank you, Man on the Street. <laughs> Let's see what's next. New host. All right. Now the next one. That was mine. That was yours, Eric. That was my one. Thank you. That was my one. That was my what? Mine. Yours. Okay. <laughs> um, whatever happened to stressed out college freshman? Actually, this is a funny story. He um he actually got an internship. Uh, he actually sent us a picture the other day. Uh, this is college freshman on his internship. <laughs> It's actually a ship full of interns. Like a boat. Like a boat? Like a boat. Yes. Um, let's see. 5.30 is not late. You should call it late afternoon with James and Eric instead. <laughs> that's a good point. What would it be if it was late afternoon? Oh, that's what it would look like. I don't really like it. I don't think it works. No. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not a fan. Stretched. I like late night. Uh, let's see. The last one here. Uh, more commercial breaks. Uh, we'll be right back with more late night. Uh